Welcome back guys, Bruce Bros Fishing, it's a tackle box tour, let's keep going. through this is a three layer so this is our main one two layer not as main so we're not gonna be going through this one today but we're going through this big boy right here it's a three layer so wait till you see right over here we have our, our smaller tackle box so you throw a couple crankbaits in there look good and you got this you got two big tackle boxes one go kayaking go on a boat and stuff easier to move easier to go through we go put that back put this to the side right here we have our net you know it's not the biggest net in the world but you know it's net you know works as a net you works know. as a net gets the job done Get the job done, that's right. All right, next, so right now, putting these to the guys to the side. Hop into right the main. To, hop into the main one. Right up here to start, start off with, we're just gonna open it up and we'll see what's inside. With the three layer, there you go, you have all three layers. One, two, three. We're happy with our tackle box right now. Still a lot of building, but let's start off with the first layer and see what we got in here. All right, to start off with, we're gonna go this side to this side, I'll show you about it. Right up here, we have our jigs. It's a blue jig, blue and black jig. We have this, and then we have a mini pumpkin green, I think it was. There we have our two jigs. And then next up, we got the chatterbaits up here. We have three of them, actually. We have a nice red one right here. Uh, a nice white one right here, white with a little pink. It looks more like bait fish, like that. And right down here, we have an orange one right here. All right, so then right here, we're gonna move on to the spoon and the rooster tail. This is our spoon, nice blue. I like the blue on it, good coloration. This works like a charm. Next up, we have a rooster tail. This one's kind of damaged, as you can see, but you know, it's still, I, I like it. I like the bait. Still need to get a new one of those, but that'll be fine. Next up, we got our two spinners. You know, spinner, they get lost easy, but I still like them. We just had to replace this one on, on the right side, just the end one. But look, in clear water, you'd use this one right here. In darker water, you'd use a brighter color, like with the red and the neon. So that's good. I like those. And next up, we're gonna move over to our crankbaits. Here we have the here we have the lipless. We have the lip, as you can see, this is the lip right here. Start off with the lipless. You know, this one's nice because it looks like it imitates like a bass, you know? It's a nice crankbait. You throw it in deeper waters. Same with this one. This one nice. This this silver right there reflects on the natural surroundings. Like in the water, you can see. And over here we have our lip. These ones both have a lip, as you can see. They're, they're, these are not weedless, so if you're gonna throw this in deeper and deeper and weed, weed like we got weeds on the ground, algae and stuff, won't work that well, but that's all right. Next up, we have this nice red with the green on top. It's a good, good bait right there. So we have two, both lips right here. Good looking baits, I like the color. These two, I like the colors. All right, let's move on to the second row. Here we go, you guys get a view of it right now. All right, we're gonna start off. These two right here are our top waters. We have two poppers right here, as you can see. And down here, we have two other top waters. This one right here to imitate like a bloody fish. Same with this one down here. These are just like the smaller, like these just shrink in size right here. Over here, we have this right here. It's a little on the heavier side. Got a spoon, imitate like a small minnow and stuff. I like that. So it's very weighted down, it's very heavy. Right here, we have our beautiful bait right here. Beautiful lure. I like the green, it's like tiger on stripes. I like that. Put this right back. This guy, we have big boy right here. It's a big boy. Use that in deeper, like lakes and stuff, deeper water. Right here, I actually found this one time and I wanted to pick it up. Look how good that looks. It looks just like a crayfish. You know, pull it on, it's where you pull the line so it go like that. It's got the nice little pinchers right there. Got two hooks underneath. It's a cool looking bait, I'd say so myself. Look at that. I like that. Over here, let's see what we got back here. I mean, this is this top water. We found, actually, a cool thing about this, we found this at like a lake. We found this just on the ground. We picked it up and look, we have a new bait right here. I think it was lost, it was in the weeds and stuff. So there we go, I got a new bait. Right here, we got our frogs actually. This guy's, I don't know, we found this guy in a top water pack. It's very small, but you know, still when the, right there, Right there, you see that? We still need to put like, you know what they do? They put pliers and like pinch up the hooks right here. We still haven't done that yet. We kind of need to do that. But if we, this is a very, this is a very nice frog right here. 
See that? I like the, I like the tail on it. I like the colors. Looks like a natural frog. And here's the spook. This one has nice action on the water. Like you twitch it and it goes, it's like walking the dog. It's called walking the dog. So I like that bait a lot. All right, let's move on to the third row here. This is, these are like this row right here. We got some soft plastics, in, or not soft plastic, I mean swim baits right here. Soft plastic down here. So let's get started. Right here we have the hooks. We have hooks right here. These are the bigger size as you can see. These are a little bit bigger than these right down here. See that? And right here we have our leaders. If you want to tie in a leader. Sometimes you can actually just cut this part off and just have this as a leader so it's not that as distracting the fish. You can see that. Right here we have our bobbers. Nice red, classic. Another one right here. We have two more pink. We have a pink one right here, you know. Was, these good bobbers. This one over here. Right here we have our squids. I don't know, I got those, got those from a pack. I don't really use them that often though, so. <clears throat> and then, okay, right here, see that beautiful guy? We, I, uh, probably needs another jig, but probably needs to get re-rigged, but that's all right, that's all right. Right here we have minnows. These you actually imitate minnows very, I like, look at that detail on it. That could look like a minnow to a fish. <laughs> Looks like a minnow to me. So, and then right here, we have these guys. These guys catch everything. Catch bass, crappy, bluegill. They catch, this is like a very versatile bait right here, if you can see. All right, we'll move, and we got more down here. These are all the hook. These are all the pre-rigged ones right here. Nice neon color. That'll catch everything. Right here, these are not, they're not rigged up yet, but we put them right there. We got our weights over here for like drop shots and stuff. Nice weight, this could, this actually holds your bait and stuff, so we'll leave that in there. All right, right here, we have these bad boys right here. Just put it on this, you got a, this it looks like a spinning. So you got this, you got this spoon right here. Got this same bait right there, put it right there. We have two of those, one's white, one's neon. And right over here, these were not rigged up that well, but that's all right, we'll fix them. And we have this nice swim bait right there. You can see the tail's got a lot of action in the water. We have two of those. One has a nice two both rigged up. One has not been rigged up back here, but that's all right. All right, we'll move on to the big boys right here. These are nice swim baits. These are imitate bait fish beautifully. These are on the bigger side. We have we got three of them. These imitate good bait fish. They look like shads, you know what I mean? This tail got a lot of action. A lot of on the bigger side. Bass could eat that, they're in deeper waters. All right, we're moving on to the soft plastics here. So let's take them all out. Here we go. All right, right, right here we got a crayfish lookalike. Right here, nice blue and black color. I like that color out of it. Good. Usually, I usually um, text rig these. They're pretty good. Right over there. There you go. Right here we just got some classic worms. Some nice green, the general. And we have some nice yums. These work like a charm. If you're not catching anything, throw these in the water. Pop. Get them all day long. Same thing, just a general worm. Black this time, unlike the other one, the other one green. But yeah, these work like a charm too. They're very scented and stuff, so there you go. For two finesse worms, we have a nice pink. I like the pink that actually work with. It's actually probably work. Right here, and we have another pumpkin green right here. Green pumpkin, those work beautifully. Right here, we have a power bait. They look like shad, imitate it. Nice swim bait, I like those. All right, there we go. Let's move on to the hooks here. We have two little packs of the hooks. As you saw, we had, we had some hooks in here, right here, we, these are some backups. Right here, we turn around. Small hooks, big hooks, red hooks. We have them all. Actually, we have two packs of those, you can see in the back. You can push them in there just in need. And right here, we have our tools. These cut the line, good cutting at like knots and stuff. So, these, these work good. And also, we got our pliers. We need to take it out, take the hook out, it's hard. We need to get in there. Off Standard the pliers. Standard pliers right here. And still cut the line right here, so they're multi-use, you know what I mean? All right, so there we go. Right in here, we have 12 pound line. You know, I'm gonna lift this around my, put this around my bait caster, but in case we just need it in general, we have them right here. Series our tackle box. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right here, just wanna take a quick look. Pause the video right now, look it over. Just wanna see, yeah, we're gonna let you look at it. And there we go, there's our tackle box review. Later guys, subscribe. Subscribe, give us a pop.